Hi everyone, in this video we're going to walk through how to live stream your Rococo motion capture to the new Unreal Engine MetaHumans. In addition to this video, we have a fantastic written guide that you can find in the link in the description below. We'll be streaming body, hand, and facial data into Unreal, so let's jump into it. A few notes before we get started. Firstly, this workflow only applies for the MetaHuman sample project currently available from Unreal. Once the full MetaHuman creator is released, we'll have a new tutorial that covers any new setup. Secondly, this tutorial specifically covers streaming live mocap data into Unreal, not retargeting recorded animations. We're still working on that tutorial. Thirdly, the sample project itself is super hefty, so I would recommend saving often during this process, and additionally, you can delete some of the other assets in the sample project to reduce some of the load on your computer. Finally, we have the setup sample project that you can download in the description below, but you'll have to change a few things to get it working, which we'll cover at the end of the tutorial. So first things first, we need to download the MetaHuman sample project. You can find the project on the Unreal Marketplace, although you'll actually need to download it from a web browser. However, once you do, it will appear under your library where you can create a new project with it. Then you can jump into the project. Okay, now we're in the MetaHuman sample project. We've let it all load up. And the first thing that we'll do is make sure our Rococo plugin is enabled. You can head to Edit Plugins, and then make sure the checkbox is ticked on the Rococo Studio Live plugin, and then you'll probably have to restart Unreal to load the plugin. Okay, now Unreal has restarted, and because this is such a heavy project, I'm actually going to delete the male metahuman from the project before we continue. We'll be streaming to the female metahuman in this tutorial. I'm also going to delete the metahuman sample sequence because we don't want any animation to play while we're streaming. This is a dirty solution, but it works for the purposes of just showing how to get the metahuman set up and streaming. Okay, now let's actually prep our metahumans. The first thing we'll do is create pose assets for the three main components of the current metahumans, the body, the shirt, and the face. This will essentially prep them for Rococo motion capture by putting them in a default T pose instead of their A pose. We're gonna do the body first. Navigate to metahumans, content, sample metahumans, common, female, medium, normal, weight, body, and then here you can double click on the MetaHuman base scale Unreal asset. And then we'll go to character, bones, all hierarchy to actually see the bones in the scene. As you can see here, the skeleton is currently in an A pose, so we need to go ahead and reposition it to a T pose. I'm going to start by going to the left clavicle and just adjusting it by 5 degrees. You can change the increments of the snapping for the rotation up at the top right. Then I'll select the left upper arm, and here I can just zero out these local rotations. I'm going to do the same for the lower arm, and then also for the hand. Although I'll rotate the hand back 90 degrees so that it's lying flat along the T-pose. Because we're going to be using smart gloves as well, we also want to make sure the fingers are flat too. However, I won't change the metacarpal bone, only the first and second joints of the fingers. For the thumb, I'll rotate the first joint by 20 degrees just to bring it up in line with the fingers. And now you can see that our left arm is directed straight out from the body, and we can do the same process for the right arm to put this character in a T-pose. I'll 
I'll time lapse through this, but after we're done with that, we need to go to create asset, create pose asset, current pose. And then I'm going to save this as body T pose to the main level of the content folder. So we need to do this same process for the shirt and the face. And now we'll go and find the shirt skeleton. You can find that under content, sample metahumans, sample, shirt, meshes. And then we're going to click on this female medium uh, top shirt skeleton unreal asset. Open up the skeleton and repose the asset. If the bones won't rotate for you, just make sure to click disable on this warning down here. After you're done repositioning the clavicle, the upper arm, the lower arm, and the hand, you can create the pose asset again and call it shirt T-pose. We don't need to do the fingers for the shirt or the face. Finally, we'll do the same thing for the face skeleton, which you can find under content, sample metahumans, common, face, and then the face archetype skeleton is what we want to open up. And for this one, there is no lower arms or hands or fingers or anything, so you just have to reposition the clavicle and upper arm bones. So now we have our three pose assets and we actually need to set up the animation blueprints now. Let's start with the body blueprint. I'll head to sample metahumans, metahuman 01, female, medium, normal weight, body, and then double click on this anim bp file. So we're going to delete everything here and just set up the normal Unreal Blueprint for streaming Rococo motion capture. If you've worked with streaming Rococo mocap in the past, it's basically the same setup. We'll create a component to local node, a Rococo body pose node, and a local to component node. We'll wire them all up. And make sure to type in the actor profile name you'll be using in Rococo Studio on the Rococo body pose node. In this case, it's just my name, Sam. Then I'm going to detach the blueprint from the top here so it's floating. And then go find that body pose asset we created and drag it into the blueprint. Once it's in the blueprint, I'll right click on it and select convert to pose by name. And then if I double click on my body T pose pose asset, you can see there's an actual pose name here that we need to enter into our node on the blueprint. In this case, it's 14590. Then we'll make sure it's all wired up and we'll hit compile. So you'll see we get a bunch of errors here because we still need to actually add a bone map override like we normally would when streaming to Unreal. To do that, we'll head back into our main project, right click in our content browser and select miscellaneous data asset. And then you'll search for smart suit body map data. I'll rename this bone map to metahumans bone map, and then I'll open it up. And here we need to fill out all these fields with the metahuman skeleton names. So if we go to our metahuman skeleton tree,
we can copy the appropriate values into these fields. I normally do this by just right clicking on the joint and then copying it and pasting it onto the bone map. I'll time lapse through this, but this bone map is already included in the setup project that you can download in the description. So you won't have to go through this process yourself, although it is good to know how to do it. For the thumb joints, I'll just use the third joint twice for both the distal and tip fields. And then for all the fingers, I'll do the same, but I'll be starting at the proximal joint. So you'll always put that third joint in for both the distal and the tip. When we're done creating the bone map, we will hit save and then we'll head back over to our body blueprint and load in the bone map override into the Rococo body pose node. So now if you hit compile, all those errors should disappear. Hit save and we'll do the same process for the shirt. Head over to sample metahumans, sample, shirt, meshes, and then you can open up this animation blueprint. Delete everything again, and then we'll create our nodes. We can load in our bone map into the Rococo body pose node. And then again, we're gonna drag in that shirt T pose pose asset that we created earlier. And then we're going to right click it, convert to pose by name, and then enter in our pose name, which in this case is pose underscore zero. Then we can hit compile and everything should be working. So the face animation blueprint is a little bit trickier. You can find this one under sample metahumans, common face, open up the animation blueprint and make sure you're in the anim graph tab. And firstly, we need to disconnect these two nodes under the cache pose. Then we're going to set up the same nodes we did for the body and the shirt, but wire them into this layered blend per bone node. Remember, we're also going to need to drag in that face T pose pose asset that we created earlier. And then convert to pose by name. and add in the pose name from the asset. Again, this is pose underscore zero. When we hit compile, we will get a few errors because the face skeleton doesn't have all of those bones that we used in our bone map, but that's okay. It won't affect the performance of the metahuman. Okay, so now we're ready to start involving Rococo Studio. If we hop over to Rococo Studio, you can see that I'm already in my SmartSuit Pro and Smart Gloves, and I've also already set up my facial motion capture with my iPhone. 
We have plenty of tutorials on getting all this hardware set up in Rococo Studio that you can check out on our YouTube channel, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. In order to stream into Unreal, I'll need to go to Start Live Stream, and then make sure that my Unreal module is enabled. I'll take note of what port I'm streaming to, in this case 14045, and then I'll jump back into Unreal and add a Rococo receiver to the scene and make sure that my port number matches what I had in Unreal. Again, in this case, 14045. So now I'll turn on Live Link by going to Window, Live Link, and then I'm going to add my Rococo Studio source. So you should see both the actor and face roles pop up down here. And if you don't, just make sure that you're already all set up with your smart suit, body, gloves, and face capture streaming out of Rococo Studio before turning on the Live Link Rococo Studio source. The very last thing we'll need to do is take the face role name, in this case, actor colon Sam colon face, and then enter it into the Live Link face subject field under our MetaHuman blueprint in our scene. And, and there you go. Now if we hit play, you'll see that we are streaming over our live motion capture data from Rococo Studio, and everything works magnificently. We are so excited to see more of this MetaHuman technology. The ability to create these incredible characters with all of the different options that they're going to be in MetaHuman Creator is super exciting, and the potential is unreal. Pun intended. Unreal has also made sure that the MetaHumans are going to play nicely with the Apple AR Kit facial motion capture blend shapes, which is what we use in Rococo Studio, which is awesome just because it means that our facial motion capture is going to work really well with all of these MetaHumans. So finally, if you download this sample project to use with your streaming motion capture from Rococo Studio, you're going to need to do a few things when you open it up. You'll just need to go into the blueprints and make sure to change the name of your actor profile that you're using from Sam to whatever you're using in Rococo Studio. For most people, it's usually just their name. The other thing you're also going to need to do is always turn on Live Link. It doesn't have Live Link open automatically when you open up the project, so you'll, you'll just need to turn it on by yourself. Finally, as I mentioned in the beginning, we have a fantastic written guide. This is a lot of information, so for me it's nice to see everything just on the page, so you can head to that link in the description below. Also, please put any questions you have in the comments below, and we hope this video was helpful on getting you started with streaming your Rococo motion capture to the new Unreal Engine MetaHumans. Thanks so much for watching, and have fun with the MetaHumans. Bye.